Good afternoon. Shalom everybody from a beautiful sunny afternoon here in Jerusalem. We are getting ready to enter Shabbat and I just wanted to give you an update, a second update on the political situation. If you didn't see the video that I posted yesterday, go find it. And I want to say, uh, of course, there were a few things more that I wanted to add regarding to why Benny Gantz decided to join the Netanyahu government yesterday. New polls were made after Benny Gantz started to negotiating with the left bloc, with the Arab parties, saying, uh, if Israel is heading to a fourth election, who would you vote for next time? And there was a significant drop in the people who would vote for the blue and white party because they were saying, we didn't vote for you so you could make a minority government with Arab parties where some of the members are supporting terrorism against the Jewish people. So if we have headed to a fourth election, in co according to that poll, Benny Gantz and his blue and white would have dropped to 30 seats. Benjamin Netanyahu and Likud party would have climbed to 40 and would have had 63 mandates, which means if there would have been a new election, Benny Gantz would have been a big loser. Netanyahu would have been the big winner and would have been able to make a right with government. So that was presented to Benny Gantz knowing I can't make a left wing. I don't have enough mandates to make a government that side. If we go to a new elections, I'm going to have a big lose. So what are we going to do now in the midst of this crisis with the economy uh, going down and a half a million Israeli on un unemployment um, and the whole coronavirus who has shut down the country, Israel cannot afford to go to a fourth election. And that is why Benny Gantz broke, broke the protocol. He's, he, he went to the blue and white and he says, you know what, we're going to make a unity government within this. And yeah, this is the right thing to do. And of course, someone in the blue and white camp was saying, absolutely not. And that's why they separated yesterday. So Benny Gantz with his resilient party, which has 17 mandate, decided to join the government with Benjamin Netanyahu and to recommend that Benjamin Netanyahu is going to be the prime minister for the first 18 months and who knows what the world looks like and what's going to happen after that. So that is why all of these things combined of what I said yesterday and this was why Benny Gantz decided, you know what, I'm going to do what's best for Israel in these critical times. We need a government who can function, who can, <clears throat> excuse me, start making decisions in this uh, Corona crisis. So next week, of course, after Shabbat, they're going to start negotiating and we will find out if Benny Gantz is going to be the foreign minister or he's going to be the defense minister. And we will see the full lineup of who the minister is going to be. And then Israel can have a new emergency unity government. There you have it. Unfortunately, this morning, Israel had the 10th death due to the coronavirus. I do want to say that all the death here in Israel has been elderly people who has been uh, sick with other conditions and uh, then they succumb to the coronavirus. So my heart and prayers are going out to those families who has now lost a loved one. Israel has reached 3,000 corona cases. Um, so it's like in the rest of the world, uh, we are we are almost on lockdown. Uh, we can go and get our food and our medicine and uh, we can leave uh, our house for 100 meters and then you have to come back. Uh, I think they're having a meeting now with new restrictions coming up. And if that's the case, I will keep you all informed. So Shabbat Shalom and keep reading Psalm 90, 91 over you and your household. You know, we will not fear. And the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob he is with you and he is with me and just let his presence fill you so that will cast out all the fears. So have a great Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Enjoy this weekend with your family. Enjoy some good food. Play with your kids. Sleep in if that's possible. And just take time out to be with God. And there's still so much to be grateful for. And for such a time as this, you were born. You are here. You have a purpose. All of us do. Have a great weekend, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. And I will see you on the after Shabbat. Bye.